Hello and welcome to my first podcast. I'm your host Max Rack and today you are listening to Take Care You Can't Pour Out of an Empty Cup. This podcast is about my journey from mediocrity to mastery, the learnings along my journey, tips, tricks and exercises which help me to get ahead faster. which will ultimately, if applied to your life, be your own shortcut to your personal mastery. As you may have heard in last week's episode, if you listen to it, I have started a 10 day challenge, which um, yeah, focused mainly around owning my own morning, make my morning my priority, to get a lot of things done in the morning, I would usually push off to um, yeah, the evenings and we all know the evenings are usually short there's always something which comes into our way into our way where we're not able to do the things we have planned to do so therefore doing those in the morning is a huge advantage and those things are all tasks I do and if we all do them are done for ourselves, for nobody else. And if we have all done them, then we're gonna start with our day and we're gonna help others, help to work on dreams of others, give to others. So one of the things I have done in the morning was done meditating. And it's something I have only done for myself. I don't meditate for anybody else. And you also know what the one thing is you always want to do in a day, which you know which help helps you. If it's get moving, do small exercises, keep reading on the favorite book you just started, even meditate yourself, try it out if you have never done it. And what you will see If you do that for a couple of days in a row, it's the feeling after you have done that for several times every morning, you gain to stick into those tasks. You feel that you have already done the things for yourself. You would usually do in the evening when you have focused on doing the things for everybody else, for your boss, for your coworkers, for your family. And that's ultimately, this ultimately will create so much power for you during the day. It will make you stronger. It it will make you more more persistent. It will help you to stay motivated, to stick to a task you might not like that much. And for me, meditating also helped me to bring my thoughts in order. I journal straight after I meditate, so I can just dump out all the shit happening or going on in my head. I'm using a small app for that, which I think is available for iPhone and Android. I will put a link into the show notes if you're interested in. It's no affiliate link or anything. I'm using the free version of the app, which I think is more than enough to use. There's more more features with reminders and stuff on the paid version. But But if you want to use it, and get started and do it for a couple of months constantly every day the free version is more than enough and you will see how much of the same thoughts when you stroll through the previous day how much of the same thoughts have been coming up in your mind and you need to let go because they're not they're not helping you they're just slowing you down and if we have done all those tasks in the morning for ourselves then we can start to give and do the things for others. Because nothing we don't have for ourselves, we can give. And if we don't have energy, we can't give the energy to others. If we don't have the love for ourselves, the respect for ourselves, to honor the morning and do the things we know helps us, do us good, there's nothing we can give to others. 
to also help them going forward. And I'm not talking about money, it's not about giving the money away. It's literally what I meant or what I just said. It's the power, the energy, the love and anything around it. If that's what we don't have, it's nothing we can give to others. And that might sound selfish for you to look after yourself first. But to be honest, if if nobody else looks after you, you have to look after yourself. And you can't give it to be at full strength for anybody else if you're not looked after you. So that's why the routine I put in place or what I learned in those in that 10 day challenge is that I have to look after myself first and then I can start looking after others. Because if I'm at full power, I can give much more than I can give if I'm yeah, just crawling around, just living by on yeah, the last bit of my energy. And you may think it's not possible to do that in the morning. But just try to get up a few minutes earlier and you will see from trying to get up a few minutes earlier you will be able to get up even an hour early as you used to do. And obviously, as I have struggled with that as well during the last few weeks, you will figure out quite quickly. I monitor when I go to bed and when I get up. And when I look through it, I can see on the days I went to bed really, yeah, very late. Or when I see I was, yeah, I was up during the night a couple of times. It was obviously harder to get up in the morning. But if I walk through it, pushed myself through it, made it my priority to be able to do those tasks and complete them before I had to leave for the office. I was much more empowered for the day and it also forced me to yeah, go to bed early, stop looking into my phone, my laptop, a couple of hours before I go to bed, which made it, yeah, which my, made, made my sleep quality much better. It was much easier to get up in the morning. So if you struggle to get up in the morning earlier, write down when you go to bed every single day and you will find out that on the days you either went to bed late or you were interrupted in your sleep a couple of times during the night, you will see those are the days. So it's not about the getting up early, it's about going to bed at the reasonable time to still get your seven, eight, nine hours sleep, whatever you're in need to feel alive in. So today was a really short episode, but that was the key learnings I want to give to you. So to recap kept the shirt shortly, we need to start at some point. So if you want to do something, I think meditating goes a long way. So if you if tried it out for yourself, Get up those 15 minutes earlier and meditate for 15 minutes. Put your headphones on, check I don't know, Spotify, um, Apple Music, there are also yeah, tracks on it. Or look back to a previous episode where I got more into details in meditation. You can also find there a few apps I use personally and the free versions are all very good to use and a very good point to start but it has to be done for yourself if you just do it because you heard it on here and you think well I just do it because I heard it then it won't help so you have to you have to have that yeah that need that want for yourself that desire to feel better during the day to make it your priority then no matter what comes you will do it because it's done for yourself, not because somebody said so. And if you do that, then you give. And by that I mean you start giving to others during the day. If it's making their breakfast, going to work and work on the first tasks you have, or anything else you do for others during your day. You do them after you have done 
the first things for yourself, not the other way around, we usually do. And that will make you look after the most in person, important person for you first. And that's what many people get wrong. That's not your spouse, your husband, your wife, your partner, your kid or anybody else. The first most important person in all of our lives is ourselves. Because without ourselves, we're not gonna get up in the morning. We not get to work. We not get to do anything for anybody else. So if we don't care for us, we cannot care for anybody else. And imagine how much you would miss someone be left from you. So you have to look after yourself that those people have the best version of yourself. And then we can give much more to others and help others in a much deeper and much more meaningful way than we do currently. So thank you for listening today. I'm your host, Max Röck, and until next time. <laughs>